Hey Pisces. I didn't even realize first off the gate is Virgo and having your opposition out in front of you, you could have a Virgo in your life that is very in front of you and shows you um, in the right ways, maybe not according to you. where harnessing saving energy is important or where they mirror you for some of you it's this this thing you didn't know until now and this thing meaning jupiter's been in retrograde in pisces for a while and it's just gone direct, so you're kind of catching up. Um, not that you were behind. That's not what I mean. But you're just catching up to... We all are, but especially you. To all of these different things that are... That had been revealed to you last month. In a very specific way. That only Scorpio season can do. And... You realize that you're not stuck you are just at a certain cap or a glass ceiling or you put yourself there and there's more to see there's more to expand upon um again reiterating enjoy enjoyment <clears throat> that's what's gonna help you that's what's gonna help you realize what things you have been not not allowing yourself to enjoy until now just because you don't have this or that or whatever it is um, that thinking is very cliche as it is to talk about, again, can lead you to feeling more lack. And what kind of justice is that for yourself? <clears throat> the scales come out one right after the other what's being constricted from you what are you constricting from yourself what part of you and who you really are needs to come out and what's going to cause this could be in Capricorn season <clears throat> or when Mercury enters Capricorn on the 6th what could be revealed oh keep excluding the Gemini. The Gemini full moon will also be very, let me just backtrack for a sec. The Gemini full moon will be either a day, it's the 9th or the 7th, the 7th, sorry. I keep thinking it's the 9th for some reason. The 9th is when Venus goes into Capricorn. That could be also very um, important for you as well. Um, <clears throat> to realize that you need certain rest, especially in how you utilize what you have, your resources. So the full moon can be very, uh, it could become very obvious, these extremes, um, that how these situations come back or the same person comes back around is because they appear to be one thing at first but then reveal themselves later, right? And now that's revealing something about you. It can be hard to hear, but it's what's showing you is that you're more apt to go to to buy something or do something that is going to make you have to overextend yourself. And that's kind of what's being balanced out. You're kind of like, fuck that. Like, you don't even get that upset about it. You're just kind of like, ew, fuck that. Like, fuck that. Let's, ch like, and everything begins to change. Aquarius season will be really, really good for you um to sort through some things but until or there could be an Aquarius in your life who um very how do I put this very naturally doesn't mean they don't know what they're saying when they're saying it um they don't know how impactful it is for you when they say it to you or present it to you but they put something into perspective for you very clearly and you want to move on it 
what there's something saying is that just keep following the steps. Don't move too quickly or abruptly. Know when it's time. There will be increments amount of time for you to do certain things, especially if it's for yourself personally or for your business, which is the same thing, or for your career steps or different moves you need to make. Um, <clears throat> you'll be given these pockets this month. And again, that going back and connecting that magic, but you have to be aware enough. And if you're overly emotional about what you find out, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Am I saying don't be yet? Yeah, this is already showing that there's going to be a drastic change in you. But I think something, a part of you kind of drops into yourself even more. You trust that there is something yet to be shown you've realized that this is just another version of what you've been presented before. Um, this could have all actually, the feeling and everything and the situation could have started back in October. And from cardinal season to cardinal season, next month or during all of the Capricorn transits, you everything kind of comes out. Everything makes sense. You know, it's been out, but it makes sense now. And that's something you can commit to. You can understand that. There could be, it could have been also a Capricorn in your life who had, was trying to show you some of this. And I don't know. It just wasn't received. Jupiter enters Mar, or enters Aries and Mars is in Gemini. This is that reminder we have another card. Ooh, interesting. This is that reminder that only you you put yourself behind the blind this month. Only you can put yourself there this month. This month is about will, not just about the assertion of will. That's more last month to an extent, but this is about your free will. This is about how much energy you've harnessed in order to break free from what you've been keeping yourself from. And you're like, damn. But like, good to know. Because then when you're put in these situations, it's so much easier for you. More relaxed. It's not, yeah, it's just not as hard. And Jupiter enters Pisces and there's a little bit more playtime. Just know that this, if you don't replenish, replenish the resources or your spirit, which is fire, um, and your creativity, like giving yourself the reset or relaxation outlets, like doing something good for your body, your mind, whatever it is for you, that could be very beneficial this month. Scheduling it in and making it a whole day or making it an evening or a morning whatever it becomes for you um giving yourself that time oh because then what you find is you and if you're looking for a romantic par partner which i haven't really gotten into but i can <clears throat> Is that you've met people through you'll meet people throughout this month just don't get overly excited about anyone no one's to fuss over they think they are because it's Sagittarius season but it's they're not and if they actually are they'll stick around and you'll see them by the end of the month it won't just be this transit <laughs> you'll see them stick around in Capricorn season and that's who you want around it's my best advice for you for that no over don't over exert anything this month you know those times in your life when you're just like kind of distracted and you don't really notice or want to input anything too much and you realize how lovely that is yeah you want to be like that beautiful woman or being excuse me beautiful person in the window with the sun shining just brightly, maybe smoking something you like to smoke or drinking something you like to drink or both. And you're just observing the world and maybe in where, whichever you live, I'm picturing more of a city or area. And you're just kind of watching people and watching and feeling the magic of life that 
to be honest, Pisces, not a lot of people get to. And you want to absorb it because it will come out through you in a different way and it will give you more life than I think anything else this month. And I think that's pretty beautiful. I think we're going to end it there. All right, Pisces. I hope you have a good month. You're not alone. Reach out if you need to. We'll see you next month.